Hello and welcome to Coventry University Challenge, 10 minutes of fun frolics in the Department of Media at Coventry University. Um, this is a, uh, I'll go, I told you I'd do this didn't I? Uh, this is a 10 minute quiz where we have two teams, a team of um, applicants and a team of parents who are fighting against each other to the death to see who can be champion of media production. So let's meet the teams. Hi I'm Leanne. I'm Ben. I'm Paul. I'm Horace. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with um, a series of um, pub quiz uh, questions. So these are kind of a nice gentle introduction to the quiz. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out the question and the team that knows first of all uh, will just shout out um, either Team A or Team B will just shout out. So you will shout out? Team A. Or, or A and you will shout out? B. B. Excellent. Yes. So mm -hmm. are we ready? Uh, and let's start on page one of the pub quiz. Okay, what is the turkey trot? A, a dance. Your B. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but correct, it is indeed a dance. So um, team B have the first point on the, on, the, on the scorecards at the moment. So you're playing catch up now, team A. So this one should be easier. Uh, which type of butterfly has red and white varieties? Oh, it's very quiet here, very quiet. B, monarch? No, incorrect. I'm sorry, so it's over to team A. Do you know any butterflies that have red and white varieties? Guess, have a guess. Do you know any butterflies whatsoever? Uh, no, I'm sorry. No, it's, a, it's the admiral. So the red admiral and the white admiral. Um, so it's still one one nil to team B. Okay, who is the patron saint of Scotland? <laughs> Come on, I'll give you a clue. It begins with A. B. Andrew. Andrew, yes, well done. Yeah, so it's 2 0. God, the parents are racing away here. Come on, guys. Um, which car? Oh, no, I'm not going to answer that one. You'll, you will never know that one. It's, it's way before your time. Um, what is Cockney rhyming slang for stairs? B. Upland Pairs. Ah, he's on there. 3 0. 3 0 to the parents. Um, so we've got one more question before we move into our kind of second round. Um, and the uh, question is. Which game is also known as Housey Housey? B, bingo. Correct. Oh, it's 4 0, 4 0. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to move into a kind of uh, a round that's a bit more kind of active now. So, what I'd like you to do is I'd like one of you to go over to the kind of plinths over there, please. So, one person from each team, team A over there, team B over there. And if I could have my beautiful assistant, if we could have the bowls, please, and the straws. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Excellent. Well done. Thank you. So what we're doing now is the kind of the, the, the old fav favourite party trick, which is transferring Maltesers from one uh, bowl to another using only a straw. And so what we're going to do is we're going to see how many uh, Maltesers people can shift from one bowl to another in one minute. So beautiful assistant, do you have your stopwatch at the ready? Matt, the beautiful assistant, do you have your yeah. stopwatch at the ready? We're using both at the same time. Uh, you can do whatever you like. You've got two straws. Uh, and so this is about being kind of imaginative and creative. That's one of the reasons we've given you the task. So uh, when I count down from three, please. Um, so put your Maltesers down, please, both of you. <laughs> I like the way that you're kind of itching to get going, but it's, uh, uh, okay, so on, on count to three. One, two, three, go. Oh no, this is easy. Right, okay, now you can't do it that way. You have to do another way. You have to think of another way. Sorry, that was much easier than I thought. So, so now the rules have changed. Because it's so quick, you can only suck your Maltesers up. You're too good at this, Ben. Too good at it. Oh, look, this is easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Parents are still in the lead by 4 0, so you need to get this one. There's two points at stake in this round, I should have said. So you could narrow that gap. <laughs> come on, B, come on. Yeah, come on, let's have a bit of kind of. Yeah, come on, B, come on, A. Two, one, and stop. stop. 
Okay, great. If you could come and sit down, please, beautiful assistant, while we're on to the next round, if you could count the Maltesers uh, in both of those uh, bottles, and then what we will do is we will announce the results in a minute. So, well done, both of you. That was very good. Um, and so we're now on to the second round, which is a food and drink round. If I can find it. Okay, so are you guys ready? Stop looking. <laughs> I saw you. Um, okay, right, we're now on to a food and drink round. So uh, we've got five questions on food and drink here. So there are five points at stake in this round. What descriptive name is given to the British dish consisting of fried leftover food, usually potato Beak. and cabbage? Beak. Oh, bubble and squeak. Yeah. Bubble and squeak. Yes, correct. Well done. Yeah, so that's a um, uh, beautiful assistant. Can you keep the scores here, please? I think it's 5 nil at the moment. Yeah. Okay, um, so next one. What is the name of a pudding you should get this, guys? What's the name of a pudding consisting of ice cream on a sponge cake covered in meringue? Ice cream, sponge cake, meringue. Lovely. I'll give you a clue. It's normally baked. Uh, uh, baked Alaska. Baked Alaska. They're on fire. These guys are on fire. Come on. <laughs> okay, right. Question three. Uh, which fruit flavours the Belgian beer Creek? Think of a fruit. Just shout A and think of a fruit. You might get a point. A. Banana. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> banana beer. Oh, what kind of beer are you, you drinking? Um, no, it's, that's incorrect. It's not banana. That sounds vile, though. Banana beer. Yeah, um, lemon? No oh, yeah. good choice. Um, no, it's, it's cherry. Yeah, so our floor manager knew that one. He was in there. Um, okay, how many have I done? I can't remember. Um, I think I've done three. So this is uh, question number four in this round. Which liqueur is based on a secret recipe passed down from Prince Charles, um, Edward Stewart, or Bonnie Prince Charlie? Another Scottish question. <coughs> Do you know any liqueurs? Trampoli. Trampoli, yeah. Good. I didn't know that. Well done. Parents are on the roll here. I'm going to ask one that you might kind of know how now. Um, all Scottish. I don't know why it's all Scottish. Uh, which food item was once known as a love apple? And you guys can't answer this. You guys can just keep going until you get it. Which? Cherry. No, not cherry. It's red. It's round. Strawberry. No. Keep going. It's an apple. It's, it was called a love apple. No, it wasn't an apple. No. Rhymes with bomato. Tomato. Yes, the first points on um, <laughs> first points on now. It's fun. Okay, so now we we're going to wrap it up now. I think we have the scores from the Maltesers round. So beautiful assistant. The scores were 28, 28 28 14. So twenty-eight to the parents. <laughs> so the final <laughs> score on the door, I think, if my maths is correct, which it probably isn't, is it's eight to the parents and one to the applicant. So well done, parents. <laughs> and that concludes uh, Coventry University Challenge. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again.